Now I come to you and I bring you the prayer list for the sick and the shut-in. A special request has been made by Sister Dupree, Joanne Dupree. She has a co-worker who has an eight-year-old daughter who suffers from epilepsy. And she asks that we uh, keep her lifted up in prayer. Her name is Carter Grissett. Yes. We have the Turner family, the Williams family, Sister Felicia Smith, Michelle Brown and family, Brother Charles Herring, Brother Ricky Bridgeford, Sister Autumn Liddell and family, Sister Mary Dixon, Sister May Bradley and family, Sister Ethel Jones, the Hines County School District and students and personnel, Mr. and Ms. Madge and Otto Neal and family, Sister Kenyatta Wilson and family, Sister Christina Williams, Sister Lily Lacey, Sister Mary Berry, Brother Devin Watson, Evangelist Williams, Brother Sherrod Dilmer, Sheila White Dilmer, and Rodney Dilmer, Brother Stanley Lomax, Sister Pearl Miles, Brother Greg Brooks Jr., and Brother Greg Brooks Sr., Sister Lucy Jones, Brother Wilson Jones, Sister Hazel's family, Hazel and family, the Dupree family, Brother Willie Moore and family, Brother Junior Griffin, Mother Harvey, Sister Anderson and Baby Carter, Sister Linda Patterson, Sister Selma Sizer, Brother Kyrie Mosley, Sister Erling Bradley and family, Sister Ilmara Watkins, the Garrett family, Sister Doretha Richmond, Sister Betty Russell, Mr. and Mrs. Melvin and Bunny Hodge, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes, the Tucker family, Brian Miller, Xavier McCary, and Sister Linda Gass. Thank you. Yeah. 
the same. That's a different rank. Uh, Jesus said there was a man, there wasn't a man born as great as John, of a woman, great as John. But he said the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than him. Remember your rank, there's a rank somewhere. There's a rank in heaven. The least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than him. Let us pray. Let's bow and pray. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for being with me. Yes. And for bringing me from a mighty humble thing. Yes. I pray that you would sanctify this service to our use and to your use. Yes. And pardon our sins and save us for Christ's sake. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
No man knows the day or the hour. Nobody knows. Neither the angels don't know. All right. Of the heaven. And not the son. He said he didn't know. But only the father. No. Yes. The father knows. That's right. See, one thing about God, he's not a God of confusion. He wouldn't have told us the day and hour. If he had, it would have been chaos. Right in this church. Yeah. If, if, if God had told us the world was going to end in 1980, if I, if I didn't know the Lord, I'd be, I'd be up in here in 1979 getting ready. I'd be up here. I said, the world, I got to go and get it right. But it's good to be right now. Yes, sir. Because you don't know when your end comes. These people back here, end has already came. Yes, sir. In the cemetery. Right. We don't know when I will come, but you got hope. Yeah. You got you here and you love if you love Jesus, you got to make. Yeah. If your end comes before the destruction, yes. you got to make, you got Jesus. God, you're saved. Glory. That's what counts. Yeah. But the wicked want to know for sure when the eagle comes so they get right. <laughs> but the Christian, we want to know the seasons and the time. Uh. See, there's a time. And as I read on through this lesson, in this sermon, we're going to find out some things about the time and the seasons. So you see, Jesus is able to declare the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He can declare well, because he said, I am Alpha and Omega, right. the beginning and the end, yes, sir. the first and the last. Yes. Yes. He's right now and he's after a while. He's yesterday, he's today. And he is tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Talk, talk, talk. And he didn't he, he didn't give just one event as the sign. He told of many happenings and situations. Other Bible writers besides Matthew mentions additional events that would mark the last days. We're gonna look at a few of them. We're gonna look at a few of them. Uh, nations we arise against nations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kingdom and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah. This is Matthew 24, 7. Uh, we've seen this before. Okay? Some of us weren't born, or most of us weren't born, but think, in 1914, uh, World War I began. That was a world war. Yeah. Real world war. Neither in history had that been such a terrible war. It was total war, okay? World War I was much greater than the major wars that were fought in the 2,400 year period before 1914. All right. That's when it started. 21 wars, 21 years after that war ended, World War II began. World War. All right. All right. Always been war. And it was four times as destructive as World War I. Yeah. Terrible wars continue to be fought since World War II ended in 45. 1945. Yeah. 25 million people killed. In some 150 wars fought around the globe. On it. On any given day, there have been on the average 12 wars going on in in the world. And there are the continual threat of another world war. Man, on that there's a, a threat of war right now. Right now. And it's been going on. This is this been happening. These 
United States alone has enough nuclear weapons to destroy every man, woman, boy, and girl 12, 15 times over. You hear what I said? Every man, woman, boy, and girl. Look, look, you can't destroy this earth. David said the earth will stand forever. You can blow a mountain down. You can blow a house down. Or you can stop the river, but you can't destroy this earth. Man ain't got that much power. Because God didn't give it to him. Yeah. He don't have the ability to destroy the earth. He cannot destroy this earth. This earth will stand forever. Yeah. What about, we got food shortages. Food shortages. Following World War I, the greatest famine in all history. Think about China. In China, over 15,000 died every year from starvation. 15,000. A day, excuse me, a day. Not a year, a year. A fourth of the world was starved. And every fifth food has remained scarce for many people on earth. Every 86 seconds in an undeveloped country, as a result, they die as a result of either the cause by malnutrition. Even in places where food is plentiful, men are too poor to buy. Yeah. You blessed. Yes, sir. I hope you know it. Yes. I know I'm blessed. Amen. Yeah. 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 So, I feel rich when I ain't got to die. Right. I used to hear you say that. You don't hear it no more. All right. They used to say, I feel rich when I don't have a dad. <laughs> Earthquakes everywhere, <clears throat> every place. We have, three, on average today, about 300 earthquakes a day. They don't register on the Richter scale. Yeah. But we're having, we got to tighten up. Yeah. We, we got to honor God for this thing going on. But is this the end? Right, well, well. I want to know, is this the end of the world? Uh -huh. You see what things are happening? You know, what your parents told you a long time ago, your Christian parents, they read the Bible, so one day it's going to happen. Well, not because of what's going on in Israel today. Israel been fighting before David was alive. No, but, but one of these days, it's going to slip up on us. I'm going to read it because I'm going to think in the night. If I know the thief is coming, I try to wait on it. Or if I'm scared of them, I'm going to call the police. Uh, uh, go get my uh, uh, board now or something. But if a thief will come and break my house, the law says you ought to be waiting on it. And don't suffer your house to be broken up. You don't have to be a cow. And he didn't go into detail and say what you're going to do to him. But you know, you got a brain. You know what he'll do to you. But a thief, if Jesus is going to slip in on us as a thief, we need to be ready. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, we don't know the day and hour. That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't know the day and hour. Right. We, we, can, we can know the vicinity. We know it's on its way, but we don't know the day and hour.
their home locked behind barricaded doors, afraid to go outside. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Now, who want to continue to stay in love with a world where you can't go to Walmart? <laughs> you look over your shoulder like you got a, a pound of dope in your own. I'm scared to go buy me a, some grocery. Might be a shoe. Now, who want to stay in a world like this? You know, the Lord said, love not the world, these things in the world. Right. If a man loves this world, the love of Father is not in it. Right. So this world is something. Okay? Okay? Lovers of money. 2 Timothy 3, 2. Everywhere you look, today you can see acts of greed. Yeah. Yeah. Men will do practically anything for money. to produce and sell products that are known in any way or another to make others sick or kill them. Either openly or to say the way they live, people are saying, money is my God. Yes, yes. That's what they're saying. All right. Yeah. All right. Disobedient to parents. Second Timothy 3 2. Parents today often have little control over their children. Amen. Today, these days, have some of them, most of them, youth rebel against all authority. So every country on earth is affected by the plague of youth crime. More than half of all serious crime in some countries are committed by children 10 to 17 years of age. Yes. That's pretty young. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's young. Yes, sir. Murder, rape, assault, <coughs> robbery, burglary, car theft, all these things children are doing. Never in history have disobedience to parents been so common. Ruining the earth. Revelation 11, 18. 11, 18. The air we breathe, the water we drink, and the land our food is grown on are being polluted. You remember the oil spill in the gutter? Mm -hmm. Man, there was so much oil gushing out of that pipe. It took them, what, how long? Two months to stop? <laughs> Three months. How do you think our water is now? Polluted. Levels of pleasures rather than levels of God. Second Timothy 3 4. Most people, they think only what pleases them or their families, <laughs> not what pleases God. Uh, particularly, do, doing many things that God condemned, including adultery, drunkenness, drug abuse, and other so-called pleasures. Uh, even pleasures that in themselves can be wholesome are uh, put ahead of any effort to learn about God and serve Him. Pleasures before God. This world, worldly pleasures. See, this world is going to be destroyed. You can listen. You can listen at this. This world is going to be destroyed because the Christian, many people make a mistake in thinking that this world is our home, that we ought to expect the fact yes. and rest here in this world, but not so. Right. According to the scripture, yeah. we are in the world, but not of the world. Yeah. We have been called yeah. and elected to a higher world. Yeah. We are on our way. We are pilgrims passing through. Yeah. We are not to be content here unless we pass by the way. This world will knock you down. That's why I got to destroy. Tear your heart out. Speak evil of your good deeds. It would have denounced you for your very best effort. Yeah. And you can't find no rest in this world. A Christian cannot find rest in this world. Because it ain't nothing wrong with getting out of the way of a fool. It ain't you scared if you're smart. You're smart. Ain't nothing wrong with getting out of the way of a fool. This world will tear your heart out. Yeah. Cause of problems, persecution. All right? And this, this is their home. The wicked who are absorbed in this.
this present life, this world is their highest point in their ambition. They don't seek no other home. They satisfy. They love violence. We don't. We don't. We don't. They love it. They love stealing. They love killing. The, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So you think he don't love it? He keep doing it. He's not trying to repent. He loves rowing. He loves yeah. rowing, rowing. Yeah. He loves it. Uh, yeah. Hell angels. Uh, the following, they love following the world. This world is their home. They, they don't want to know. They don't, they don't want to go to heaven. If they did, they'll be repenting. <laughs> well, they want a free meal ticket. You can't get no free meal ticket. You got to go through Jesus. Yes. Jesus is your ticket. But they want a free. I can do what I want to do. I can, I can do whatever I want to do. And I just pick up my ticket and go on to hell. No. No way. This world cannot ask our expectation. That's why it has to be destroyed. The world of people. Okay. In this. It. In other words, if this world cannot give us what we're looking for. It cannot fulfill our hope. The world cannot adjust itself to our spiritual nature. Solomon was rich, exalted with riches. He said, vanity of vanity, all is vanity. Yeah, sure. In this world, Jesus talked about it. He said, foxes have holes, yeah. birds have nests. Yeah, yeah. I don't have nowhere to lay my head. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. was homeless yeah. in this world. Jesus was a homeless man. Yeah. He chose to be homeless. Yeah, he could have been in Hollywood, but he was homeless. He loved the poor. That's why. Yeah. He loved everybody. I said, well, God loved everybody, too. Yeah, that's true. He do love the world. But I know one thing he said, uh, Jacob, I love me, so I hate. It. That's all I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> this world is just like a sea. It's always in motion. It's forever resting. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's all about friction and disturbing movement. You can't get in the rest down here. Yeah. That's why right. it's got to end one day. Yeah. Yes. But I want to know, is this the end? Well, right. Right. Of course. Is this the end? Yeah. Many people want it to end. Mm -hmm. Some don't want it to end. Let me see. Let me see what Matthew said. As there for the tares are gathered and burned in the fire. So shall it be in the end of the world. He said, let the wheat and the tares grow the grass. Yeah, that's right. yeah. He said, at harvest, I will separate. That's right. That's, right. that's right, that's right. You ain't got to worry about you, Christian. Huh. You won't be burned. <laughs> no. You're going to be separated before this happens. God ain't going to burn you. He loves you. Yes. He going to burn the wicked. Yeah. He going to separate you. He said, I'm going to put my goats on the left mm -hmm. and my sheep on the right. Mm -hmm. That will be a separation. Mm -hmm. Then the lake of fire is not for you. Mm -hmm. The wheat and the tares growing together. We growing together right now, but they're going to be a great separation. Mm -hmm. After a while, mm -hmm. he won't I don't know the day now, but it's coming soon, it's coming. Huh? most sooner than later. You better get ready. You better get ready. It said, so shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever out the wicked, see that, from the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. All right. Okay. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Talking about the end. Is this the end? Okay. Isaiah said, How? How ye? For the day of the Lord is at hand. And it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. But of the times and the seasons, brother, you have no need that I write unto you. For you'll, yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord it is coming as a thief in the night. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. This thief right here, the Lord coming as a thief. Mm -hmm. Compare yourself to a thief. For us to be ready. Yes. If you don't want to be ready, if you got some mess to do in the world, you need to change plans. Yeah. 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 Especially in these day and times. Yeah. 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 
same thing. Amen. Hell, right? get a man. A man needs somebody at, just like a woman. That's right. To watch your back. You can't go hunting in the woods no more by yourself. <laughs> My grandma used to send me out there to find a cow when I was born. I went out there by myself. They had no problem. You go out there now. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. And here's another thing important. Another thing important. Very I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Yes, yes, You're looking for another. When you see all these things happening that predicted, Jesus predicted, the end is coming in this generation, not the next generation. This is our generation, people. Before we were born, this thing started. So this is coming in our generation. Our generation. This is the generation he was talking about. This generation when you see all this trouble, all these wars and things. Yes, Lord. This bad generation right here, mm -hmm. that's when the end gonna come. I can tell you, Jesus told them when the end was coming, gonna happen. Yes, he told us, he told us right here in Matthew when the end gonna be. Yes. He just couldn't tell us the day and hour. Right. Nobody know what the father. That's right. He told us Sorry. when the end was going to be. Yes. Okay. Now is the time for men to preach. As never before. Yes, Time is winding up. Fathers against sons. Right. And sons are against fathers. Yes. Mothers against daughters. Yes. And daughters against mothers. Yes. Things are happening. Yes. That has never happened before. Right. Wholesale murder. Of innocent people. Church burning. Church bombing. Uprising. And demonstration. Yes. Demonstration. Everywhere, everywhere, and they are happening everywhere, all over the world, not just in the south no more, but everywhere. It's time for men to preach everywhere, everywhere. Preachers, you got to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Because one of these days, yeah. it's going to be over. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. After a while. Yeah. But how, what time? I don't know. Well, but one of these old days, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be all over. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a short time. The time is coming. The time is now. Right. Time is on, not on our side. Right. God is on our side. Yes, He's the only one on our yeah. side. Yeah. He's been forever on our side. Yeah. He brought us from a mighty long way. Yeah. Yeah. He brought us from our youth yeah. until where we are yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. He's always been in the blessing. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. Yeah. And I don't
when the end gonna be? The end is now. The end is been happening. Before you were born, it kicked in slow. It's going slow. It was going slow, but now it's going fast. I can't tell you the day and hour. But I tell you this, I'm gonna leave you with this. A few more days. <laughs> More days, might be a few more months, might be a few weeks, might be years. What's that? Well, the fool said, Well, this ain't happened yet, and ain't fixing it. Uh -huh. I know because you don't want it to end because you ain't ready. Hey. <laughs> if you were ready, you would say, It can end now. Hey. It can end now. I'm ready. Ain't you ready for some paradise? Yes. Who don't want to go to heaven? Please. 